the sights, sounds and smells of Kabul's Murabkhani district are unmistakable. A blacksmith forges an axe and the aroma of lamp cooking in traditional pots wafts through the bazaar as a potter spins his wheel to craft clay pots. All material natural from Istalaf, from in Logar. Also uh, very old, about 1,000 years ago. Like almost everything else in the Afghan capital, the country's long wars have taken their toll on Murad Khani too. Badly damaged, poor and nearly buried under rubble, Murad Khani is still surviving as a historic, commercial and residential area in old Kabul. But the area is on the World Monuments Fund's watch list of the world's most endangered sites. Since 2006, British-based aid group Turkish Mountain has led efforts to preserve and rebuild Murad Khani and save from extinction the crafts that once thrived here. So one of the goals of Turquoise Mountain in Afghanistan is to revive traditional Afghan crafts. So we work with artists and businesses all across Afghanistan. We provide them with technical training, business mentoring. We help them improve their marketing skills, their product design. And then we, link, we try and link them to international designers and global brands to facilitate their sales also outside of Afghanistan. Since 2006, Turquoise Mountain has trained over 450 artisans in traditional arts and restored or rebuilt 112 historic or community buildings in the old city of Kabul. The group also established the first institute for Afghan arts and architecture and has organized major international exhibitions of Afghan crafts. It has helped a market local artisans handiwork with more than five million dollars worth of products sold overseas. Second year of the jewelry department, and uh, also we make a uh, make a uh, Uzbek Turkmeni design. Afghanistan is also known for its hand-woven carpets that have been part of the country's heritage for centuries, each generation passing the crafts onto the next. Turquoise Mountain is working with hundreds of women in the country's north to help improve their working conditions and ensure they earn enough through carpet weaving to support their families by integrating them into the international supply chain. Uh, we are trying to link them with international designers to create beautifully handmade, high quality design carpets for markets in Europe and North America. And we are doing that to improve the working conditions of these women and to ensure that they earn a livable wage. Turquoise Mountain's work in Murad Khani has received financial support from Afghanistan, the United States, Canada, India and several other countries. Supporters of the project say restoring and preserving traditional Afghan crafts is as important as efforts to bring peace to the war-ravaged country. Munaza Shahid, VOA News, Kabul.